time to go. Good evening. This is City News Debate Hour. Excitement about the end of nationwide rationing has been tempered tonight following the news of more violent crime in our capital city. The sharp rise in public unrest has occurred despite the increased presence of the metahuman-led crime-fighting unit, now publicly known as the Pantheon. We're joined by political columnist and anti-war activist Joel Forbes. Tell us, Joel, is there any truth in the assertion that the signing of the Human Hyper Treaty has a correlation to the rise in violent attacks in our city? It's not correlation, Terry. It's causation. The treaty clearly stipulates that hypers must not interfere with the governance of human society in any way whatsoever. Martin, tell us about the Pantheon's public mission statement. Leading members of the organization claim that it is a metahuman focused police force and they do not apprehend humans. Good evening, Terry. That is pr the provisional government's agreement with the Pantheon. But how can you be so sure that these uh, metahuman uh, policemen are having a positive effect on public order? Oh, it's simply too early to give a definitive answer to that question, Joel. But having the nation's most powerful metahumans on the government's payroll is a solid insurance policy against them turning to vigilantism or even worse, banditry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Martin, but, but I must interrupt. It is at this point that the violent crimes on our streets uh, becomes a political issue. Uh, doesn't the presence of an unelected metahuman faction in our government make us a police state? I'm afraid, gentlemen, we're going to have to cut this debate short in order to make room for our next guest. Joining us now in the studio is Melanie Hopkirk, former liaison with the CIA's Metahuman Counterterrorism Department. Tell us, Melanie, do you believe that there is any truth to Joel Forbes' belief that there are metahumans uh, living in post-war society that are not accounted for by the tally system? I believe there may be some truth to the theory, yes. Hypers are notoriously skilled at hiding themselves. Many of them live their entire lives without ever revealing their powers. Run! Pretty boy, you are violating the human kind of treaty. Stand down or prepare to be judged. Pick up for two and alert the police for the muggers. Ghost, I need pick up for three people and trauma counseling for one. Do you believe then that metahuman fugitives from the Great War are hiding among our population? Members of the intelligence community are skeptical about this theory. Many of the hyper turncloaks of the Great War went missing, it is true. But there is strong evidence suggesting that these missing hypers are dead rather than in hiding, even if they are hiding among us. It is not likely that they will ever openly challenge us again. I need pickup. 